Our uh, first guest, listen to this. Here's real entertainment. It's the best-selling comedy uh, film uh, DVD of all time. It's uh, called The Hangover. And our uh, first guest, yeah. This is in available um, in stores right now. Here, here he is, uh, Bradley Cooper. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Happy him. New Year. How about, how about this thing? Now, this uh, movie, you go in... Am I not supposed to take that? No, it's all yours. It's all yours. I thought that was yours. No, no. Take care. Uh oh. Have a, has, See ya. Good night. Have as much as you want, uh, Colt. Uh, <laughs> now, this, this thing, I, I mean, the movie did like a, a, a half a billion dollars or more yeah. when it first came out, and now it's the best selling comedy DVD of all time. Unbelievable. N nice going. Congratulations oh, on that, thank my you. God. Thank you. Now, does that. Yeah. Does that change. Uh, I mean, it makes you a wealthy man, I would guess. Crazy wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> but does it change your life in other ways? Um, yeah, you know, it has changed a little mm -hmm. bit. It has changed a little bit. I live in a little house in Venice, California, and um, first, maybe like a, two weeks after the movie came out, and a lot of people were seeing it, I remember uh, paparazzi is basically what I'm talking about. Oh, guys, you, yeah, taking yeah, their picture. Like, right, and I yeah. remember the first time I came out of my house, and I saw like a couple guys, and I hear this clicking. I think, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Like, is there a car accident or something? I'm like, I'm looking around, and going, like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, oh, they're taking the picture of me. <laughs> and then they start following you in your car. And it, you know, I love the French Connection and like Ronin and those movies. <laughs> so I was loving it. This is fantastic. <laughs> I would like pull around in the side, and I'd get behind them, and I'm like taking pictures of their license plate with my phone. Cool. And they're like, yeah, you can do that. We don't care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're still right here. And then I realized the end of those movies, like those car chases, like a car flips or right. people die. Yeah. I thought, maybe I shouldn't be trying to run away from them. But first it is a little exciting, and then it wears thin pretty quickly or not so quickly? I'd say like within three minutes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> three or four minutes. Uh, you know, I didn't r realize this, but before the big uh, film... Can I go in again? No? Yeah, you know what the problem is? There, <laughs> there's something in there. Oh, there's that... something in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is our oh, try that one. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for looking out. It's uh, yeah, we got to change the water filter backstage. <laughs> <laughs> You're better. This is sparkling. You're fine now. But you you had like a you were a, 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 on one of those Discovery Channel shows. Or something. I was. You were like a a, a Discovery of a extreme. I was the worst host. host ever to be on the Discovery Channel. What was yes. the show? It was called. Um, it changed a lot of times because they've reran them and stuff. But it's called uh, originally it was called Globe Trekkers. Globe Trekkers. Yeah. I remember the. Do you remember that? Well, I remember the name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> I was really surprised oh, that you no, saw. I the, you saw remember. Me on Globe I remember. Trekkers. Yeah. <laughs> Skipping right by it. I remember it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. What, what did you do? How did you get the, how did you get the show? It's a catchy name, yeah. Um, I, was, I was a doorman at a, at a hotel, and uh, I was in grad school here in New York City, mm -hmm. and um, they would put uh, ads for, like, uh, in the back of a magazine, in the newspapers, and there was a thing, and it said, looking for someone with uh, extreme sensibilities, but no experience outdoors. I thought, wow. well, I'm the guy. And I went in. <laughs> wow, that's difficult to define, really. It, well, it's it's sort of. I love the outdoors, but I grew up in sort of the suburbs of Philadelphia, and I never really camped or anything. Uh -huh. But I like watching movies about right. the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> I love Deliverance. Yeah, and... you you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You like doing exciting things, but you've I never don't... done anything yeah, that's exciting. Right. That's right. Yeah. I love the idea of it. Mm -hmm. I want to do it. Have no idea how to do it. So you got the gig. Got the gig. Yeah, got the gig. They asked, make up a story. And I remember, remember the Freshman, the yeah, movie with uh, right. Marlon Brando, mm -hmm. and yeah, and there was remember the Matthew Komodo, Broderick, Matthew Broderick, mm -hmm. right, and the Komodo dragon. Right. So I pretended I went to Indonesia to in search of the Komodo dragon, mm -hmm. and I got the gig. And then they sent me to Canada. And I did. Uh, I cycled the Viking Trail in Newfoundland, and I uh, pulled down the Bonaventure River in Quebec. And then I, uh, what was the third thing? Oh, uh, uh, sea kayaking with orca whales. Wow. Well, this yeah. sounds great. It, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah, it was incredible. And, and, and you just discover. Do you know? Are you a, uh, a cyclist at all? Do you mean riding a bicycle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, As opposed I, to. Well, I, I, I yeah, yeah. Uh, let me answer it this way. Yes, I can ride a bicycle. Okay. I, I don't. I don't know that that means I'm a cyclist. Right. 
<laughs> Probably not. No. Right. Um, well, then you're exactly like me. Uh, but when you ride for a lot of uh, miles, we did uh, 100. Well, we said we did 100 miles in one day, but really it was like 50, and then we got into the support van. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would get out, and I got I was like, okay, we're here at mile 90. 90, right? 30, but 90. And uh, but you you lose like you go numb all in your lower torso, which I didn't yeah. know. But no, I guess I didn't that's know. I yeah, know that it's very scary. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you guys just ride bikes. But how, yeah. how many of these shows did you do? I did it for about, um, I did it for three seasons. I probably did maybe 15 to 20 treks. And, and uh, the idea was you were not an expert or they were pretending you were an expert? The, no, the idea was you were not an expert and they love that and they want to watch you suffer. Uh -huh. <laughs> That was basically it. So you would like glacier climb in Peru. There was one thing where we went up this big glacier. You, you, glaciers in Peru? Yeah. Well, this is tremendous. Yeah, yeah, in Coliariti, this place called Coliariti. And there were guys, and I was going up, and there, were, there was like 16,000 feet, which is basically the base camp of Everest. Wow. And I was going up, and I had like crampons and a huge North Face coat, and I looked like, you know, it was, I was in the middle of the Arctic tundra. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that, you know, that sounded good. Sounded good, yeah, it sounded sure. Great. No, it actually, sounded yeah. really cold. Um, and I'm there, and then there, the Andean people who live there, who are indigenous to the culture, they're also climbing, but they have like penny loafers. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're hopping up the hill. And I'm literally walking like this. <laughs> so I was, I was bad. That's tremendous. So that's really, I mean, what a wonderful, oh. uh, I mean, regardless of whatever else you wanted to do, that yes. was a great experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's what, true. What was the hotel? Exactly, it was uh, Four Seasons all the time. Really? No, 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 no. No, where you were a doorman. Oh, I thought you meant where we stayed on oh. the tracks. <laughs> um, I was a doorman at the Morgan Hotel. Oh, the Morgan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very, very hip. Very, very hip. Especially back then. Uh, did, are we showing a clip or what are we doing here? We're not a clip showing of a clip. What? What are we I don't know. We're going to show a clip. I guess we're not showing a no clip. clip. Uh, anyway, got, are we yeah. have a second? Yeah, sure. Just funny thing about Morgan Hotel. There were these three candles in the lobby. And part of the deal was always keep them lit. And when I got hired, so they said, but the door would open and it would always go out. Blow them out, yeah. Yeah. So I spent most of my time just yeah. trying to relight those candles. <laughs> yeah. Mind games. You're yeah. playing mind <laughs> games with you. <laughs> that's, your, that's your extreme sensibility. <laughs> there you go. At uh, work. Now, I don't know if this is probably sold out. You probably can't get these either. But uh, if you can, go to the store and try and pick one up. It's The Hangover. In stores now. This is Bradley Cooper. Nice to see you, Bradley. Great to meet you. Have a great year. Thank, Thank you. Me. Nice meeting you.